Hello and welcome to my top 10 games of 2013. Uh, we're up to the, we're into the top three now. And at number three, and I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, uh, criticism for this one, but um, I, I have my, again, I have my reasons for it. And um, again, any game that gets into the like top 10 or even the novel mention, I really enjoyed this year. So, um, it's just like some some games I enjoyed that a little bit more, but um, yeah, I, I won't uh, keep you waiting any longer. Uh, number three on my top ten games of twenty thirteen is yes, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five. Um, now again, just let me explain. Um, as I said uh, in the previous video, uh, I wasn't. A big fan of GTA 4. I felt like, um, although on a technical level, it's um, it was a big step up from the previous games on the PS2 and stuff. Um, I felt that uh, entertainment-wise, uh, it it took a sort of step back. Um, but in this case, with GTA 5, um, it really comes back to what made the series great, where it's really um uh, like very sort of satirical very um uh very sort of snarky compared to like a lot of the uh uh celebrity culture and stuff like that um and uh yeah it, the the fact that it brings like not one but three different characters that you can play as and you can switch to them on the fly I think that's really really <laughs> a brilliant uh, idea um, which can you know say say if you only liked um, Franklin for example but really hated like Michael um, and you uh, you only wanted to play as Franklin for example then you could do that um, Apart from like certain missions and stuff like that, but um, if you wanted to sort of like free roam around and just play as like, frankly, you can. And the same situation with all the other three characters in this game. And um, yeah, they made a lot of uh, improvements in the uh, uh, the driving in particular. It feels like um, it feels very uh, Midnight Club in a way, actually. Uh, which is uh, which is ironic because it's uh, that is also a Rockstar game, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if they got like some of the team from uh, that series to uh, work on this. Um, the shooting's a lot better. It actually feels a little bit more difficult, which for me is actually a good thing because, um, I, as I said, I like a little bit of uh, challenge. Um, uh, the the world is absolutely beautiful it's huge as well it's like um uh at least five times the size of gta4 i think it might be, even be more than that um and the yeah the story is um a lot better than gta4 i'd say for me this is the best gta i've played since san andreas and um that is high high praise indeed trust me um the things I didn't like about the game were, or I, I actually, I, I do, I, I do want to mention the um, the whole uh, score system for the campaign where you get like uh, medals for doing certain things. I feel like they really improve on that after the um, uh, Battle of the Gay Tony DLC, where I felt it was a little bit flawed. I feel like they've really improved on that for uh, GTA Five. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, the the things I wasn't so keen on of the game was definitely the multiplayer <laughs> and um, if you've been following along with games this year you know that um, uh, it had a very dodgy start and um, even when it when it did work um, it didn't quite live up to um its expectations uh what it, what the uh uh rockstar sort of promised it to be and um yeah it wasn't it wasn't terrible it's not terrible but um it, again with what what rockstar were promising it could have been so much more 
and I and for anyone else, yeah, I do pl I do play this with friends. I don't play this by myself. So um, um, like a lot of the time, we're sort of we try and create our own uh, sort of stuff to do, which I guess you could say is um, what do you say is all about. But it's nice to have stuff like you know stuff like heists and like wh I don't understand why there's no like triathlons in in like the multiplayer either. I feel that's a massive missed opportunity by Rockstar. Uh, instead like you have like these stupid like rest like arm wrestling mini games which are absolutely pointless and like the uh, shooting range which is equally like why why put that in the game when you can have like triathlons and stuff like that. Um and and also my only other sort of negative which might be a positive depending on how you look at it is is the fact that it's it's just you know GTA you know there's no real um, yeah there's a lot of like technical differences to like previous games and like how the game looks and um, the voice acting and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's still GTA the only good uh, parts innovative innovative parts of the game was the uh, the heist and um, other than that it just felt too much of the same but that's not a bad thing because um, you do have fun while it lasts and um, I, I'm you know I might play through this game again but uh, it might not be for, <laughs> might not be for some time but uh, yeah it's it's still a fantastic uh, return to the series where uh, after 4 I wasn't sure which uh, direction this series was going to go uh, I feel this is definitely a a step in the right direction for uh, old school fans like myself so yeah GTA 5 number 3 on my list ok and uh, thank you for watching this video uh, stay tuned for number 2 on this list see you later